Starliner, once hailed as a breakthrough in crewed spaceflight, now faces a potentially humiliating end. After numerous issues and delays aboard the ISS, the prospect of it being unable to undock and possibly returning without its crew looms large. This situation has sparked significant debate, leading NASA to recently provide critical updates on the CFT-1, Crew-9 mission, and future operations. So what exactly did NASA reveal? And how will these developments impact Starliner, Dragon, and the overall ISS mission? In our previous episode, we discussed NASA's potential plans to delay the Crew-9 mission due to ongoing Starliner issues. At that time, these updates were speculative, but NASA has now officially confirmed the delay, along with several other key updates. NASA announced, NASA and SpaceX are targeting no earlier than Tuesday, September 24th for the launch of the agency's Crew-9 mission to the International Space Station. Steve Stitch, NASA's Commercial Crew Program Manager, further elaborated on the reasons behind the delay. Besides the rescheduling of Crew-9, NASA has decided to make room for two Starliner astronauts by launching only two astronauts on the Crew-9 mission. SpaceX spacesuits are reportedly ready for this change. This move is something NASA had been hinting at for some time, though they hadn't explicitly confirmed it. It seems they may have been downplaying the severity of Starliner's issues. Now with the situation becoming untenable, NASA has officially opted for a Dragon-based solution. Under this plan, the two Starliner astronauts will remain on the ISS for over eight months and return with Crew-9 in February 2025. The identities of these two Crew-9 astronauts have yet to be determined. Another backup solution being considered involves allowing three crew members to be positioned on the Crew-8 cargo pallet. This contingency plan would be enacted if NASA needs to undock Starliner before Crew-9 arrives. Such a scenario would be a significant setback for Boeing. The inability to undock Starliner compounded by the failure to safely return the astronauts would be a major embarrassment, especially if they had to rely on their competitor SpaceX's Dragon to bring those astronauts back to Earth. This development would likely signal the end of Starliner. If this situation comes to pass, there are two possible outcomes. In the first scenario, if the Starliner's issues are deemed too severe or if re-entry poses a high risk, the spacecraft could be intentionally abandoned in space or allowed to burn up during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. In the second scenario, if the problems are considered manageable, Boeing and NASA might still attempt to bring Starliner home. The rationale for this could be to analyze the spacecraft's performance and issues for future reference. It's important to note that the updates concerning Dragon's involvement are currently just contingency plans and have not been formally enacted. In other words, Dragon's rescue mode is not officially active yet. NASA remains hopeful that Starliner can resolve its issues within the next month. In the best case scenario, if these problems are addressed, Astronauts Butch and Suni might still return aboard Starliner, potentially as early as August. However, this optimistic outlook is clouded by doubts, primarily due to the undocking software issues, helium leaks, and thruster failures. The Crew-9 delay proposal further adds to these concerns. The agency explained that the delay allows Starliner more time to evaluate recent test results and complete other necessary work. One of the latest issues revealed is a problem with the undocking software on Starliner. The current software is reportedly unable to facilitate the undocking of the Boeing spacecraft from the ISS. This revelation is concerning. Previously, it was known that Starliner was plagued by issues like helium leaks and thruster failures. Now with this new undocking software problem confirmed, the situation appears even more daunting. Boeing's technology is currently facing significant challenges. The ability to interact effectively with the ISS has been problematic for Starliner. Back in 2019, the Starliner prototype failed to rendezvous and connect with the ISS. Now, even after successfully docking, the spacecraft is unable to undock. This is a fundamental flaw, especially for a vehicle intended to carry humans into space. Docking and undocking are basic requirements for any spacecraft, and if Starliner struggles with these steps, one has to wonder, how it will handle more complex tasks. It's estimated that it will take Boeing about a month to update the undocking software, which is one of the reasons for the delay of Dragon. 
This software update is intended to allow Starliner to undock automatically. While it's common for spacecraft to have both manual and automatic modes, the need to update the automatic undocking software raises another concern the possibility that Starliner might return without crew members. Given these developments, the likelihood that the two Starliner astronauts will end up returning on Dragon seems increasingly plausible. Despite all these issues, it would be easy to assume that this could spell the end for Boeing's Starliner program. However, NASA appears committed to continuing this costly project. In the recent update, NASA revealed a surprising decision regarding Starliner. Even if the spacecraft fails to bring astronauts back from the current mission, it will still be certified for future crew launches. This decision might seem puzzling, especially given the current issues Starliner is facing. But it appears that NASA has its reasons. One possible reason is that NASA doesn't want the problems with this crew test to derail the overall Starliner roadmap in the commercial crew program. Most recently, the Starliner 1 mission has been delayed until the second half of 2025. Given that Starliner has only six years left to complete its six planned missions, NASA likely wants to ensure that these missions proceed as scheduled to avoid wasting the significant investment already made in Boeing. This decision may also be influenced by Boeing's current situation. If additional crew tests were required, Boeing would face a significant challenge with its prototypes. Currently, Boeing only has two Starliner prototypes, the one being used on the current mission named Calypso, and the second prototype, which was used to successfully launch the OFT-2 mission in 2022 and is slated for the Starliner 1 mission. If a new crew test were required, the current Calypso prototype would likely be deemed unsuitable for another attempt, meaning Boeing would have to rely on the Starliner 1 prototype. However, even if this mission were successful, Boeing would be left without a prototype for the subsequent Starliner 1 mission. This situation puts Boeing in a difficult position and likely influenced NASA's decision to continue with the program despite the current setbacks. In that case, Boeing and NASA will have to delay the Starliner 1 mission. We can't predict by how much it will be delayed, but let's assume that Starliner 1 is only delayed until 2026 we can see that it will cause a big problem for Boeing as well. The delay will cause Boeing to fly two missions in several years. With the current capabilities, I think that's impossible for them. Another reason for NASA's decision to certify Starliner despite its problems could be the potential impact on other vehicles. The US module on the ISS has a limited number of docking ports, and the ongoing issues with the Starliner CFT-1 mission have already caused delays pushing back the schedule for Crew-9. This decision could be seen as one of NASA's worst in recent years. Approving a launch license for a spacecraft with multiple delays, unresolved issues, and an inability to bring astronauts back safely poses a significant future risk. If I were an astronaut, I would hesitate to board such a spacecraft. Nevertheless, the decision has been made, and it seems Starliner will continue to be part of NASA's plans. However, this could have serious consequences. For NASA, the commercial crew program could be in jeopardy. Dragon has maintained a perfect success rate for years, ensuring the smooth operation of the ISS. In contrast, relying on a problematic spacecraft like Starliner could disrupt operations, delay crew rotations, and lead to insufficient food supplies on the ISS. This would put the ISS at a disadvantage compared to competitors like China's Tiangong space station. As for Boeing, the impact goes beyond reliability and scheduling issues. The company is facing significant financial challenges. Recently, Boeing reported another loss of 125 million US dollars, bringing their total losses on the Starliner program to 1.6 billion dollars. This is a staggering amount for a single spacecraft project, especially considering that Boeing received $4.5 billion from NASA in 2014 to develop Starliner, more than SpaceX received for Dragon. Yet, despite this funding, Boeing has only managed to produce two Starliner prototypes, both of which have faced numerous issues. In contrast, SpaceX has four Dragon prototypes, all of which have performed successfully. Looking further into the future, if Boeing stubbornly maintains the Starliner project, they may face yet another significant challenge. Beyond the losses tied to ongoing delays, Boeing will likely need to create one or even several new prototypes. 
This would incur additional massive expenses for the company, potentially driving their losses to unimaginable levels. Regardless of the outcome of the next mission, the future of Starliner appears increasingly bleak. The spacecraft, which once aspired to reach great heights, now struggles to even leave its current position. The possibility of Starliner returning without astronauts on board seems ever more likely. Starliner may have one more chance, and we have one more month to wait and see what its fate will be. Meanwhile, SpaceX's Dragon is poised to potentially step in once again as NASA's savior, further solidifying SpaceX's dominant position in the space industry. One month remains. Let's wait and see what unfolds. Starliner has consistently failed to meet expectations and has now become a significant liability. Not only has it caused numerous delays, but its ongoing issues may also force NASA to postpone the Dragon Crew 9 schedule. It might be time to reconsider its future and potentially cancel the project. Fortunately, there is some positive news. The recently launched SpaceX Cygnus NG-21 mission has stabilized after the initial incident. Additionally, the Axiom 4 mission, also managed by SpaceX, has confirmed all crew members and is ready for launch. As you all know, Boeing and NASA are still deeply involved in extensive testing of their propulsion systems and addressing helium leaks. While there is widespread concern for astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams, both agencies maintain optimism that they are on track to bring the Starliner astronauts back safely. Recently, Boeing released an update detailing the numerous activities the company has completed in recent days, perhaps in an attempt to convince NASA to grant more time and to mask its inability to resolve the return issues. However, the broader public is skeptical, as despite their optimistic outlook, they have yet to provide a specific return date. In stark contrast to this ongoing disappointment, SpaceX is actively preparing for crewed missions following the return of Falcon 9. NASA recently announced the launch date for Crew-9 on August 18th. However, there are concerns that NASA might make one of the most questionable decisions in recent years. With less than two weeks remaining until this flight, some unofficial sources indicate that the Crew-9 mission might have its schedule postponed. Instead of launching on August 18th, it could be delayed until September 24th. This potential delay is concerning. A shift of over a month from the original schedule raises questions about NASA's plans during this period. In addition to the revised schedule, the Crew-9 mission had previously confirmed its crew members, including NASA astronauts Zena Cardman, Nick Haig, and Stephanie Wilson, along with Roscosmos astronaut Alexander Gorbanov. However, this plan has been disrupted by the continued issues with Starliner on the ISS. Consequently, there may be further changes to the schedule, and instead of four astronauts, only two might participate in the mission. The reason for this adjustment is likely due to the need to accommodate the two Starliner astronauts. There are two potential scenarios for this situation. Firstly, when Crew-9 arrives at the ISS, all Crew-8 members could return, allowing the two Starliner astronauts to stay and return with Crew-9 early next year. Alternatively, the two Starliner astronauts could return with two Crew-8 astronauts, leaving the remaining Crew-8 members to stay on the ISS. The first scenario seems more probable, considering that the Crew-8 astronauts have already been on the ISS for about half a year, while the two Starliner astronauts have only been there for about two months. During this waiting period, NASA and Boeing would need to find a way to resupply the Starliner astronauts. In light of these potential changes, it is crucial to consider the broader implications for mission planning and astronaut logistics. Regarding the scheduled delay, many analysts believe that it will provide NASA and Boeing with more time to evaluate Starliner's ability to return. To evaluate Starliner's ability, to evaluate Starliner's ability to return. If Starliner can return successfully, Crew-9 will proceed with its full crew. However, if Starliner cannot resolve its issues, Crew-9 may only fly with the two members mentioned earlier. The current Starliner delay complicates Crew-9's potential August mission to the ISS. The US module on the ISS has only two docking ports, both of which are currently occupied by Dragon Crew-8 and Starliner. According to the direct handover method, the new mission's astronauts must arrive at the ISS before the previous mission's astronauts return. This procedure is difficult to execute given the Starliner delay. In light of this analysis, it is evident that the Starliner delay is causing significant disruptions on the ISS. The most efficient solution might be to discontinue the Starliner project and use Dragon to rescue the two astronauts. If you agree with this course of action, please respond with yes in the comments section down below. 
Despite these ongoing issues, NASA continues to place its trust in Starliner, offering it multiple opportunities. As discussed, they are even willing to delay Dragon's schedule to accommodate Starliner. This decision remains puzzling, given the repeated setbacks and the broader implications for mission planning and astronaut logistics. Let's remember, who was it that helped them regain autonomy on the ISS? Who was there for NASA to maintain supplies and operate the ISS for many years? Dragon. Is NASA being too unfair to its savior? Looking to the future, if Starliner cannot return or returns without astronauts, it might spell the end for the program. Missions like Starliner 1 in late 2025 could become impossible. Failure to complete the current mission means Starliner cannot get launch certification, necessitating more test missions. However, it's unlikely that Starliner will be given more chances under such circumstances. As for Dragon, I hope everything continues smoothly. They have many other missions this year, like Polaris Dawn and Axiom 4. I hope that the delay on the ISS especially doesn't affect Polaris Dawn, the private spacewalk mission we've all been eagerly anticipating. For now, we must wait for updates from NASA. Everything will be confirmed soon, and we'll keep you updated as soon as possible. Please like the video, share it, and also subscribe to our channel to continue following SpaceX's development journey, especially regarding the current ISS missions. Finishing the update related to Starliner and Crew-9, we now move on to another important update on SpaceX's recently launched mission, Cygnus NG-21. In the previous episode, we mentioned that the spacecraft encountered problems on performing burn operations. However, NASA indicated that the ISS docking schedule remained unaffected. In the latest update, it appears that everything is back on track. NASA wrote, the Cygnus spacecraft has completed two delta velocity burns and remains on track for capture by the space station's robotic arm, scheduled for 3.10 a.m. on Tuesday, August 6th. The spacecraft is in a safe trajectory, and all other systems are operating normally. Additionally, NASA reported that the Cygnus spacecraft completed the deployment of its two solar arrays at 2.21 p.m. the same day. This deployment is crucial as it keeps Cygnus operational despite the earlier issues. Referring to the incident, NASA added, Shortly after launch on Sunday, the spacecraft performed as designed by canceling a scheduled engine burn due to a slightly low initial pressure reading flagged by the Cygnus onboard detection system. Engineers at Northrop Grumman's Mission Control Center in Dulles, Virginia, evaluated the pressure reading, confirmed it was acceptable, and reworked the burn plan to arrive at the space station on the originally planned schedule. This successful troubleshooting and adherence to the schedule demonstrate the robustness and reliability of the Cygnus spacecraft and the teams behind its operation. As planned, when approaching the ISS, Cygnus will be captured by the station's Canadarm2 robotic arm. This arm will be operated by NASA astronaut Matthew Dominic, with NASA astronaut Jeanette Epps acting as a backup. After capture, the spacecraft will be installed on the Unity module's Earth-facing port. It's great to see that this resupply mission is back to normal status. Given the delays from Starliner, this mission is particularly important. With this resupply, the agencies will have more time to address ongoing issues with ISS missions. And finally, we have another update related to Dragon and the ISS, specifically the Axiom-4 mission. In a previous update, we mentioned that an Indian astronaut would participate in this mission. In the latest update, all crew members for the AX-4 mission have been revealed. According to the Axiom Space website, the crew assigned to AX-4 includes Commander Peggy Whitson, Mission Pilot Shibanshu Shukla of India, Mission Specialist Slowitz Uznanski of ESA slash Poland, and Mission Specialist Tibor Kapu of Hungary. Sorry if I got any of those names horribly wrong. The update also emphasized it is partnering with India through the Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO, Poland with European Space Agency, support, and Hungary to send three national astronauts to the space station on Axiom Mission 4, or AX-4 for short, the company's next commercial human spaceflight mission to the orbiting laboratory. These updates highlight the ongoing international collaboration and progress in space exploration, showcasing how different agencies and nations are working together to achieve their goals in space. 
The assigned crew members are pending approval to fly to the International Space Station by the Multilateral Crew Operations Panel, or MCOP. MCOP decisions MCOP decisions are made in consensus by representatives from all five Space Station International Partners, NASA, ESA, Roscosmos, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency, they added. Currently, the AX4 crew members have arrived in Houston to begin training with Axiom Space, NASA, and SpaceX. AX4 will launch to the orbiting laboratory aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon spacecraft from Florida and the crew is expected to spend up to 14 days on the space station. Like previous missions, AX-4 will continue to help astronauts conduct experiments, observe, analyze, and evaluate, thereby accumulating experience to build and operate a private space station in the future to replace the ISS. Axiom missions to date have been supported by SpaceX. And in the future, when Axiom Space builds a space station, SpaceX will likely remain their best choice not only for the Axiom Space Station, but also for the construction of other stations, such as the VAST Space Station and Starlab Space Station. Back to the AX-4 mission, if all goes according to plan, this will be SpaceX's fifth crewed mission this year, following AX-3, Crew-8, and the upcoming Crew-9 and Polaris Dawn missions. This demonstrates the superiority of SpaceX's Dragon in sending people into space. Let's wait and see how SpaceX will accomplish its goals in the remainder of this year. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.